Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to my third and final part on who are the Eldar. We did who are the Craftwild Eldar or just Eldar. We did who are the Dark Eldar. Spooky. Woo! And now finally we're going to do who are the Exodites. Yeah, I bet you're surprised about that. Exodites are coming. You heard it here first. There will be an Exodite army. It will be coming to 40k soon. You're going to find Megadons. You're going to find Dragon Knights. You're going to find all the lovely stuff from the fluff that we know of Exodites. Those of you who know it. And those of you who don't, you will know it by the end of this video series. This will be part one of Who Are the Exodites and the upcoming new army for Warhammer 40K. Last Outrider brought it to you first. Here we go. Who are the fracking Exodites from, well, until it has a name, Codex Apocrypha. The fall of the Eldar doomed the Eldar race to a sorrowful twilight aboard the craft worlds or an eternity in the shadows of Kamarag. But there were those who foresaw tragedy and found another escape. During the fall, the degradation and degeneration of the Eldar species did not go wholly unnoticed or unopposed. Some, the more far-sighted among them, began to openly criticize the laxity of their fellow citizens and to warn against the effects of the hedonistic cults breeding among them. These Eldar were mostly ignored or scoffed at, treated as a narrow-minded fools and fanatics. Some decided to leave the Eldar worlds and settle new planets free of the creeping corruption. They are known as the Exodites, and their descendants still exist in the galaxy today. Amongst a race of indulgent and hedonistic people such as the Eldar, the Exodites were reviled as dour fanatics obsessed with misery and self-denial. There were some of those whose dire premonitions were perhaps another form of insanity. Simply one more obsession to be taken to inhuman extremes. I'm going to take a break here to explain this. Uh, for those of you who don't know as much about the Eldar thinking process. Uh, as I said in my Eldar video, El, uh, who are Eldar video, the first one, or the second one, Eldar are Vulcans. Eldar are Vulcans. They have the same personalities as Vulcans. What's a Vulcan personality? Well, let me tell you. Basically, you take all the emotions that a human has, multiply them by a thousand. Whatever it is. Happy, anger, sad, love, horny, hate, boredom, vengeance, orgasms, whatever. Take it all, multiply it by a thousand, and you've got what it's like to be a Vulcan, and apparently what it's like to be an Eldar. The problem with this is that it led them to become basically a species of obsessive compulsive greed ridden fucking fanatics i think you know the type just look at any bank um and they had no way to control it and this is what led to their fall that statement there shows that these old original eldar still have that same thing and that perhaps perhaps the only reason that exodites came into existence is that a few of the Exodites became these crazy survivalist doomsday prepper Fox News watching Daily Beast reading Eldar who became so terrified of society that they go and build a hole onto a ground in some ghost world planet on the fringe of the galaxy 
waiting for the end to come. Those were the original Exodite settlers, as I understand it from what I've read so far. But let's let's keep going on. Others, uh, there you go. So some were another form of insanity, simply driven uh, to another inhuman extreme of an aesthetic lifestyle and denying themselves all pleasure. Others were genuine survivalists who chose exile over degradation and destruction. There you go. So these are just Eldar before the fall. In an assortment of spacecraft, the Exodites abandoned their homes. Many died out in open space. Some reached new worlds, only to be slain by marauding orcs or natural predators. They did not go to maiden worlds. They went to nasty places, apparently infested by orcs and other, and possibly even death worlds. Many more, however, survived. For the most part, they headed as far away from the main concentrations of the Eldar worlds as they could reach, which is what I said, off to some ghost halo world. Wow. Okay. Next, we're going to go on to part two which will explain what life on those worlds are like for the Exodite and Exodite society. Until then, I will see you next time. Bye.